Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from, my goods are available to all. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. <laughs> Really? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. 
They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business. CSEC seems more like a military operation than a police force. You, human. You the one they call Shepard? Is there a problem? The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. It's not my fault you were slow on the draw. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it. Alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Bounty hunters don't just go around paying off people who take their contracts. I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. You're a bounty hunter. What do you get out of going after Saren? I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. There's a storm coming, and you and Saren are right in the middle of it. Why me? Saren's already got a lot of Krogan working for him. Those aren't Krogan. They're servants. They grovel at Saren's feet to lick his boots, trading their freedom for promises of wealth and power. My people were a proud species once. Some of us still remember that. I won't bow down to Saren like the others. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard.
Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? You've got no legal right to keep the body, and I know you don't want this to go public. The military has made its choice, and it believes that gaining new technology is worth inconveniencing people like Mr. Bhatia. Studying Nirali Bhatia's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'd like you to reconsider releasing Nirali Bacha's body. I'm sorry, Commander. The needs of the living outweigh the needs of the dead. Studying Nirali Bhatia's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. You've got no legal right to keep the body, and I know you don't want this to go public. The military has made its choice, and it believes that gaining new technology is worth inconveniencing people like Mr. Bhatia. Studying Nirali Bhatia's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. Thanks for your help. I don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you, Private? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executive Palin, head of CSEC. And you're the first human Spectre. Get used to people knowing who you are. At least around here. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. And unlike the Spectres, we work within the bounds of the law. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Spectres walk a slippery slope, Commander. Operate outside the law and it changes you. Look what happened to Saren. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. 
We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. I hope that's something you'll take to heart, Shepard. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Yes, you told me as much. I don't care what the military wants for her. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. <laughs> 